Welcome everybody to Sage Rides. This is the inaugural show. Uh, I hope to bring you a lot of really cool content. Um, the initial focus of the vlog and channel is my 2013 F10 BMW M5. Um, it is basically stock as far as performance um, is concerned and um, it, it has about 562 horsepower, a little bit more over 500 pound-feet of torque. And my biggest complaint with the car is there's um, it's very difficult to get power to the ground. That's why for 2019, I believe the first year of the new um, M5, that is all-wheel drive and it really needs it. And from what I understand, it shaves over a half a second off of the zero to 60 times. But I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the modifications that I have made to the car for you to uh, take a look at. So just uh, just appearance wise, I put the carbon fiber front splitters on. You can see these. Um, not really expensive. Um, got them off of eBay. Very easy install. There's two screws underneath the, uh, we're underneath here. I'll show you. Hopefully you can see underneath there. There's one over here and then one over here. I also changed out the grills. Very easy change out. You literally just pug, pull, pull out with uh, all of your strength and uh, or maybe half of your strength and uh, they just pop out, no damage. And uh, you do have to typically buy a replacement um, M5 logo or you can um, just take it off of your old grill. I wanted to maintain the integrity of the old grill so I just kept it. Also, I did a carbon fiber um, roof wrap. It's, um, it's a 3M product. It's a matte carbon fiber. And uh, I did that because I felt the car was just a little too blue. Um, but I do love the Monte Carlo blue. It's, it's a epic color for the M5. Um, I also like the M5 in black. It looks really mean. Um, I also changed these out, these side vents with the slightly tinted side marker. There were various options you could get. Um, I went for the medium darkened marker. I didn't want it too dark, but it um, really does make a big difference versus the chrome stock. I also had the rear uh, lip spoiler wrapped and uh, also the shark fin. Not really thrilled with how that came out, but um, there were a lot of curves in it and, and apparently difficult to wrap. I didn't do it myself, but I had it wrapped. Um, Lastly, I did go ahead and zip tie these um, valves open so they're permanently opened. Um, I used two zip ties in there. Um, I think you can see in there. It was a really easy project. Um, in a nutshell, you can see those zip ties right there. Um, in a nutshell, I put a rag over the back end of a hammer and shoved it into the exhaust, opening up the valves, and it made it just easier for me to zip tie the um, the actuators um, to, uh, there's a little piece of metal in there that you just wrap it around. Very easy. It took me maybe 10 minutes. Um, I did not have an interest in changing the exhaust out. I think it sounds pretty darn good as it is, especially with the valves open. Love the wheels. Um, the wheels are, you know, really great looking. They fit the car well in the stance of the car. No interest in lowering the car at this time, um, but, um, you know, things change. So um, one question for um, my vlog and the viewers is, should I add a carbon fiber rear diffuser down here that has a couple of fins on it? Um, if you could put the comments below and let me know your thoughts, I'd appreciate it. I've been debating about doing that and I could do a um, DIY how-to if, uh, if, if the group thinks that it's a good idea to do. Here comes the cold start. Of the car include these rear sunshades, um, heated and cooled front seats, rear entertainment package, um, the, the heated and cooled front seats also have um, a massage function 
that uh, is just on the seat part of it, but uh, it's really actually nice if you've been on an airplane for a long period of time. Um, you just hit this button right here. Um, also, it has the Bang Olufsen sound system, which sounds really good. Um, I'm not an audiophile, so I can't speak to how amazing it sounds, but it sounds pretty darn good to me. It has the aluminum um, laser cut trim, which I really like, and in person it looks really good. You can see up close how they did all the detail into it, and then added the aluminum grills over the VNO speakers, and those are all over. Um, they're even up behind the headrest, too, which, um, you know, you don't see that often, but it looks cool. Um, Anyway, the uh, car has about 41,000 miles on it and uh, really had no problems at all with it. I've owned it since it had 11,000 miles on it um, in 2014, and it's been great. I also failed to mention that I put in the body-colored side markers instead of the orange ones, and uh, you know, kind of backing up, it just looks a lot better to have it all body color. But the car is very clean. Um, really no dings or scratches on the car and uh it's fast i mean it's really fast for a um for a plus four thousand pound sedan so uh anyway um that was the last mod that i wanted to mention to you guys and the first mod will be these puddle washers from shadow light they were purchased on ebay for about ten dollars per box of two um, very easy install. Make sure you have one of these handy. And uh, if you get up underneath the door, you can see that there's a little um, notch out. Just stick the vinyl trim removal tool into that indentation and pry it out, unplug, and plug in the new ones. Oh, I just used my removal tool, stuck it in here, pulled down. Um, the indentation is towards the front of the car. So this comes out. A little incandescent bulb in there, of course, and uh, just a little plug. Let's see how easy this comes out. See if I can prop this camera up for you to see. Uh, probably not. I'm going to try and do it one-handed. Uh, probably not going to do it one-handed. I'm going to put this down, and I'll let you know how easy it was. Okay, all you have to do is pull really hard, and it comes right out. Not a big deal. I just didn't want to strip wires or break anything. But uh, anyway, they're in, and uh, let's see if we can spin this camera around. Anyway, um, that's it for now. Um, there will be more content coming, and uh, I really appreciate you looking and taking an interest. Um, just a little teaser, I believe this summer, um, it being the end of May 2019 right now, this summer, um, the channel may be getting a supercar. So um, you can join me for the adventure of searching and acquiring one of those as well. So uh, anyway, any questions you have, put them in the comments below and I'll try and address them. Thanks.